Welcome to Discerning and DIY with Shirley. Today I would like to ask you to stop by at Amazon.com and pick up a copy of my children's book, The Greedy Aphis and Ellie Blackberry Garden. I would like for your support. Thank you so much. And we're going to be making up with this chair. I really like this style of chair. I really don't know the error is it is in but it looks like it could be mid-century i'm thinking still but i do like the the way the legs are made and the style of it so i was able to get this good bargain for 5.99 i'm gonna use this p80 um grits um sandpaper to remove the old stain and i purchased a black ebony color stain with polyurethane built in which is the top coat so i'm gonna take that i'm gonna start out with my brush and do the first coat and the second coat i got this little small roller from um home depot with a little container and i'm gonna do the second coat with that um i'm also gonna reupholster the cushion and when I took the cushion to loose, the foam um, material was, you know, wore out. So I'm going to take that off. And I am going to use my electric knife and cut the foam down that I saved from one of my old um, section of chair that I got rid of, rid of. But I kept the cushion because I know that I can always use the cushion in some of my DIY projects that I work on and that saves me money so um yes and I'm not gonna talk through this video I'm kind of let you watch it and enjoy it I'm gonna add music to it so enjoy the music enjoy seeing me make up with the chair and if you do have any questions just put just message me into the um my um dm box right down below and i will answer you back and yeah it took me took me some time to um get it all um stained because the stain acted like paint and so a stain that you can just rub on with a cloth that's why I had to use a um, brush and I had to use a roller and at the end you get to see it in my office it looks really nice I like it came out very, very pretty so thank you for watching and please like share and subscribe enjoy